What's going on, world? Thank you for tuning in to the Fat Podcast. Fellas at the table, I'm your host, Lamar Wilson. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's feeling well. Hope everybody got the month going. I know it's towards the end of the month and we're trying to, like, you know, uh, get everything that we wanted to accomplish this month, get it done. And I say that to say this is that, you know, plan out your month. Plan out your month. We're all on our phones. We all um, have access to a calendar. Um, use your phone as a way, as a reminder. Because I know when I wanted to just write it on the calendar and, you know, with life and kids, you know, I may pass it. I may pass it by. So I find it a lot easier for me to have it on my phone and then I can I set reminders for everything. Uh, so it just keeps me up to date. And, you know, it's like my personal assistant of having... Um, my agenda for the day, for the week, throughout the month, um, and what and my goals. What do I want to accomplish? I always ask myself, like the last couple of days of the month, what do I want to accomplish next month? What what I didn't accomplish this month that needs to be carried over, and I tend to w- try to finish that up in the beginning of the month so I can start the new stuff. So, um, just like this month, I wanted to launch the podcast. Um, And then I wanted to uh, get the T-shirts going. So T-shirts will be um, up and running uh, throughout April. Uh, So look out for that. And then, um, and it's just really like staying on top of your vision board. What do you want done this year? And what are you working towards to get it done? So, you know, if you haven't got your vision board, it's not too late. Just go get However you want to do your vision board. If you want to do it paper, phone, you know, whatever it is, like, just get it done. Don't go this year doing the same thing you did last year, the year before, you know, it, it's not benefiting you. Like, you should always want to grow. You should always want to learn. You should always find new things, meet new people. Like, just be open to it. Like, this is only one life. Like, literally, I said it. I tweeted it out a couple of weeks ago that I refuse to go up to heaven without stories to tell. And and I and I, I truly I truly believe that. I, I truly believe that even though they could look down and see what we're doing and I wholeheartedly believe it, I still want to leave this earth knowing that I've did everything possible that I can think of or that was in front of me or came across my path to keep a smile on my face. And, and that's what it is because my mom gave me a beautiful smile. Shout out to my mom. Um, but really, don't think because we're in the third month going into the fourth month like... All right, let me just go back to my bad habits. Let me go back to my habits that way I was comfortable. If you know that same energy you had in December 31st of last year, keep that same energy on what you want to do in your life and where you want to be in your life and what you what finances you want, your relationship, your kids, whatever it is, like don't lose track of it. Don't think because Things not going the way you want it. What you had planned, it didn't work out. Like, it's adjustments. Learn to adjust. That's what life is about. Adjusting and adjusting and adjusting and keep adjusting. And you're not you're not doing yourself any good if you just think, oh, well, it's not going. I'm going to just stay here and I'm going to just sit on it. Or I'm going to just, you know, push it to the side and I'm going to just go back to what I was comfortable no, life will hit you. It's been said plenty of times, but life, when it hits you, you got to literally just look and like, you hit like, a you know, you hit like a little pump, you know, and you got to take those hits. You got to take those punches. You have to do that. Like, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be something that's, you know, given to you. 
Like life will knock you on your butt. And it's up to you if you get up or you ask for someone to help you get up. And I think at this point, after this whole pandemic, it's okay to ask for help. But it's even better when you can get up on your own and you do what you supposed to do. You do what you need to do. You have a why behind what you do. I'm going to say it again. You have to have a reason why you do what you do. And that's your why. That's not your mom's why. That's not your dad's why. That's not your family why. That's not the history in your family's why. That's not what you were taught why. That's not what you were shown why. Your why is your why. And if you live for someone else's why, if you default to someone else's why, you are just messing up your own why. And this is why you keep getting those same results. This is why you can't grow. This is why you can't learn. This is why doors are not opening. Because you're defaulting your own self. It's cool to mimic and kind of... I, I always feel like you need to find something that you like, find a person that you you like, you find, that you follow, that you, you know, you really like the examples they put out. Take pieces from it, but you can't take everything from it. Take pieces. Like they say, oh, Kobe played just like Jordan. No, I believe that he took pieces from Jordan because he can't play like Jordan, but he could take pieces from Jordan and then create his own and put it all together. It's just like gumbo. Like there's so many different ways you can make gumbo. They take pieces from what they like and then put it together and say, that's gumbo. Just like eggs. Some people like it with cheese. Some people with shredded cheese. Some people don't like it with, you know, it's different ways, but it's what you like, what you want. And when you find that niche, I promise you, you are living in your own process, your own faith, not someone else's, not, you know, not your family or your friends or your coworkers or society or social media. You're living in what you want for you. And it's a hard battle. It's that little person in you that's telling you you shouldn't do it. It's that little person in you that's saying you can't do this. It's that little person in you saying that stop wasting your time. It's the little person in you that's saying that this is not going to happen. It's the little person in you that's saying you're going to waste your time and everybody else's time. Stop. And when you can tell that little person in you to mind your business, when you can tell that little person that I'm going to do it just because you said I can't do it. That's life trying to convince you not to do it. I'm sorry. Let me let me stay there. That's the devil telling you that you should not do this because the devil doesn't want to work harder than he has to now. So if he if he can distract you and convince you not to do something that you know that could benefit you. That means he has to put in more work than he wants to. So make the devil work 10 to, gazillion times more than what he had planned. Like this podcast, this is this podcast. I'm doing it weekly and starting next week, I'm going to start having guests on and having, you know, people, not people, but men. Uh, we, you know, open up the dialogue for, for men. I think this is the time. And I think that right now, a lot of men are fighting the devil and the enemy more than ever, even myself. So I'm telling you today, don't, don't let the enemy win. Make him work. If he going to get you, if he going to get your attention, he got to work so hard to get it that by the time you ready to give in, he already gave up a long time ago, <laughs> you know? And so what I wanted to jump on this, uh, this week's episode, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about compromise. Yeah. Compromise. 
Like the meaning of compromise is an agreement or a settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. I'm going to say it again. Compromise means an agreement or a settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. Like that, with, with that meaning, let's just break that down. Agreement, that means the agreement, that means that two parties are hearing each other out. Two parties have two point of views. Two parties have two different beliefs from two different worlds that believes one thing. It's an agreement. That means we have to come to agreement whether we like it, whether we don't. But we have to do what's best for whatever the situation is. And there's a lot of us are not following the agreement. We're following our feelings. And this is why we keep bumping heads. This is the reason why we can't get to the middle ground. Because we feel like if we submit, the other person won. You might win the battle, but you lost the war. You lost the attention. You lost the respect. Why? Because you put your feelings in front of the situation than actual the agreement. Okay? So now settlement. A lot of us don't want to settle, a.k.a. submit and be like, well, you know what? It's okay, whatever. I'm just going to settle. I'm, 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 it is what it is. No. You don't want to live like that. You don't want to live with that mindset. It is what it is. The reason why I'm telling you that is because if you go around with the it, it is what it is mentality, I promise you, you're going to lose every time. You're going to put yourself in the depression. You're going to put people around you in depression. You're not going to be a good person to be around. Your kids are going to see it. Your spouse is going to see it. Like when you have that mentality, it is what it is. I promise you a thousand percent. You are killing. You are killing the present to meet the future. I'm going to say that. You are killing your present to meet your future when you compromise. And, I'm, I, and I, and I want to write that. I want to write that down. So give me a moment. Look, and if you're writing this down, listen to what I just said. You are killing your present to meet your future. Okay? And this is why I'm saying you can't settle. You have to come to agreement. You have to come to agreement. You cannot settle. Now you can have a settlement, but those settlement has to be mutual. It cannot. You cannot just settle because it's it feels one sided and you're not getting away. No, no. It, it it don't work that way. It's not now when you're not compromising. You are being told this is what it is. Okay. Now dispute. I want to help you out. A dispute is an open opinion. We can agree to disagree, right? That's one side. Or we can both disagree, but we don't have to be disagreeable. We don't have to be rude. We don't have to talk with a loud tone. We don't have to have those are choices. Those are not something that really needs to be done to be heard. And if you result to that, and this is why you have the issues you got. And we all go through it. We all go through it. I'm, no, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I don't go through it. I go through it. I go through it more than I should, but I go through it. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect, but I do see better ways of handling situations. I do see things that I can say, like, I could have handled that better. I could have said this better. I could have worded this better. I could have, you know, reacted this way better. So, <laughs> dispute. Understand, like, you do not, if you don't agree, just don't be disagreeable, okay? And then, 
the biggest one that reach that reach by each side making concessions. That means that you have to meet in the middle. You cannot meet on one side or the other side. You have to meet in the middle. And I'm asking you, when have you met in the middle of a situation that you felt like you were hurt and you felt like that person was hurt? And y'all both said, okay, this works. You gain a little of it, they get a little of it, and that's where it's at. Okay? Because we compromise. We compromise at work. We compromise with, with, with parenting. We compromise in relationships. We compromise in, in health. We, we, we compromise. And there's some things that you can't compromise. Some things cannot be compromised. Like, it's no negotiating. Like, you have to get it done. You know, like, if you if you have medical reasons... You have like you cannot just compromise like oh I'm just gonna get a bag of M and M's knowing that you shouldn't be having M and M's like you got to stop compromising on things some things you do have to compromise on stuff like parenting and one way of how you want to raise the kids and one way you want to you know what they eat and what they don't eat and what they watch what they don't watch it's compromise but you gotta meet in the middle you cannot think it's one sided it's not. It's not like we all have strong beliefs on how we were raised and how the other person was raised. And we're coming from two different worlds, two different worlds. And we're trying to make one statement. And it's hard, but you have to be open minded for it. Yes, your beliefs are strong. That's how you were raised. That's how you you were taught. That's what you were shown. OK, great. But this is the present. That was in the past. And that's where the conflict becomes. Because we're not looking at the present. We're thinking about the past. And like you're dealing with compromise. Dealing with it. I mean, like, think about it. If you have a strong belief and you're compromising, like, all right, ask yourself, how do we deal with this? How do we fix it? That's well, because you're just going circles and circles and circles. The question is, is saying, how do I compromise? And be heard. So what? So what is the solution? Is this okay? And now you're bringing a conversation to like, okay, now we got both sides of what two people believe in. Now it's okay. So how do we fix it? How do we move on from it? And then when you come with that, now how you do it? Your tone, what you're saying. Is it coming openly or is it coming as? I just want to get this over with. Sometimes there are, you know, you're having conversations and it's like, yo, we're just, we're just going to circles. And I ain't with the circle thing. I'm not with that. So let's address it. And then how do we fix it? And if it can be fixed, and if it can't be fixed, then we have a real problem. Because no one wants to budge. And if no one's budging, we're all going to fail. So if this can help you right now, if you're in a situation right now where you know that it's very one-sided, I need you to go back and talk to them about compromising is the key to both parties feeling like they're being heard, they're being listened to, and it, their, their opinion matters. And there's so many people out there where they feel like their opinion their voice does not matter. Don't get it twisted. We all go through it. We all go through it. So we have to. We have to. You know, one thing is that we have to stick to our word. Like, our beliefs are our beliefs. Right? But when you stick it to them, like, hey, I believe in this because of X, Y, and Z. And that person says the same thing. Right? If you strongly believe in it, don't change it. Stick with it because that's your beliefs. If you go change it, you're compromising so you can get to the end goal, but you don't agree with it. So stick with what you have and say, okay, I believe in this and I believe in that. You believe in this and I believe in that. So what do you think is a better solution? Maybe y'all two cannot come up with the solution. Maybe you need to bring somebody in so they, so they can help with the compromise. 
They don't always have to be you too, but it has to be somewhere that a middle part is the actual common goal. Maybe looking on YouTube, maybe looking in the internet, I mean, something. If you two cannot get to the middle ground, you two have to meet in the middle. And that may be getting somebody in the middle of it, getting a, reading something about what you're going through. But it, it, it has to be, it has to have, the answer is in the middle. It's not on one side and it's not on the other side. You know, because when you, because if you leave the situation and you're not hurt, you're not going to, that, that was just a, a waste of time. Like you're literally going to just continue to do what you do. And that's where it's going to hurt the most. So I'm, so I'm telling you, if you are planning to make a better relationship with yourself, with your kids, with your spouse, with your family, with your friends, with your coworkers, and so on and on. I promise you, if you find that you two cannot compromise, get someone involved, no matter what it is. Don't leave the situation unheard. It's not healthy mentally. Okay? It's not healthy mentally for you to do that. Don't believe that it has to always be one-sided. Like, you have to be open to it. You have to be able to say, like, I feel like this, I feel like this, and and so on, and vice versa, okay? And then sometimes, if you already know you at a 10, all right, I'm not ready to talk about it. Let me calm down. Let me bring myself to a two, you know, and then we could talk about it. But right now, I, I'm just not there. Okay, cool. No problem. You know, so that's what I really wanted to just jump into is just compromising and just really helping, you know, helping you um, get through these these situations that we come across our table at times is just compromising and making sure that you're being heard. And that sometimes that could be the 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 reason why communication is the way it is, because we don't know how to compromise and people believe that compromise mean that you're settling or that, you know, it's one sided when it's not. Okay. Like I said, the meaning of compromise an agreement or a settlement of a dispute that is reached by each side making concessions. Okay. So, um, guys really take this in consideration, pass this along to someone that, you know, that can, that can use this information. Um, and, and the most important thing is apply it. I appreciate you for listening and giving me your time, but apply it, apply it to everything you do, whether that's in the house, outside the house, in the store, at work, at school, whatever it is, just apply it. All right. And please, before I sign off, go to my website, I am Lamar Wilson, okay, dot com. Uh, subscribe, sign for my mailing uh, list. So I, anytime I got updates, it's going on there. Other than that, I'm on social media. If you haven't found me yet, which is very hard to believe that you have not found the kid, uh, I am, I am Lamar Wilson. All right, at I am Lamar Wilson on Facebook, TikTok. Instagram, uh, Twitter, Tumblr. I'm on everything. If you if you have a um, social media, just type it. I am Lamar Wilson. I'm pretty sure you'll find me. Um, other than that, April second, I will be on a panel of D B D S. That's David, Brian, David, Sam. Okay, live. Um, this will be an event for the men and this is the fat podcast fellas at the table. So this is perfect. Uh, I will be at the event. I will be speaking. Um, not sure. Um, as of yet, what, what's, what's the, um, topic, but I will be there and I will be making sure that I bring that fire like I always do. So if you are free next Sunday, Please tap in, 
find me on Facebook so I can send you the link. Um, again, I am Lamar Wilson. Um, find me on Instagram. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put the link out. Um, anywhere on social media, I'm gonna have that information. Um, I will, and I got good news. If you liked, life does not get easier. You get stronger. Part one. Guess what, guys? Part two is coming in April. Yeah, we were able to lock in. I can't disclose the date yet, but we were able to lock in a date in April for part two. Yes, part two of life does not get easier. You get stronger. Shout out to my man, Dominic, and everything that he's doing. Big things, big things, D. And I'm, I applaud you. I love you, man. Thank you for the opportunity, for the platform. And I'm looking forward to, to part two. I, I know everybody else been waiting for part two. So we definitely going to give give the people what they want. And this, this event is going to be the event that is going to change the world. And if we can't change the world, we're going to definitely change your mind about things that you do and what you see and how you are. All right. So I'm signing off. This is Fellas at the Table, the Fat Podcast. I'm your host, Lamar Wilson. All right. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm going to see you next week. Peace.